Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another edition of Rock's Garage. I'm your host, Dan, and on today's episode, we're going to be installing part number SEAT-721 on an old-style club car DS. Now, before we get started, let's take a look at everything that comes in that kit and the tools we're going to need to perform the installation. So when you first open up your kit, you're going to have your new seat back and seat bottom cushions. And after that, you're going to have your foot plate. And then after your foot plate, you're going to find your flip frame. And finally, we have our handrails and our foot plate brackets. We have our new seat back brackets as well as our rear seat back brackets. We have our vertical supports and our box of hardware. And now that we've taken a look at everything that comes in the kit, let's take a look at the tools we're going to need from the installation. First up, we have a cordless drill with a 27 64 drill bit. We have a small drill bit for drilling pilot holes. We have a socket wrench with a 10 millimeter, 7 16 half inch, 13 millimeter, and 11 16 sockets. We also have a 10 millimeter, 7 16 half inch, 13 millimeter, and 11 16 open-ended wrench. We have a normal Phillips head screwdriver, and we have a stubby Phillips head screwdriver. We have a couple of clamps, and of course, some safety glasses. Now, as always, before we get started, we just want to make sure that we set our parking brake, turn our cart off, and if you have an electric cart, we're going to flip the tow run switch to the tow position. Once all that's done, we can go ahead and begin by removing the rear top struts, but first we want to make sure that we put some kind of prop rod underneath the top so it doesn't fall down on our head. Now that our top struts are removed, we can go ahead and remove our front seat back cushions. Now that our front seat back cushions are removed, and before we remove our sweater basket, we need to first remove our access panel. Once that access panel is off, we can get to all of the necessary bolts to remove that sweater basket. Now that our seat back brackets are removed, we can go ahead and remove and discard our rear bumper. Now that our bumper is removed, we're going to go ahead and install our new seat back brackets and we're going to attach those just at the front using the OB hardware. Now that our seat back brackets are installed, our next step is to install our vertical support. Now with this kit, we do have to install our vertical support and our foot plate at the same time, which can be a little bit tricky if you're doing the install by yourself. So if you have an extra set of hands around the shop, go ahead and call that person over and it'll definitely make the install a lot easier. However, if you're by yourself, we're gonna go ahead and show you exactly how to do that. So the way that I like to install these is I put the vertical support on these outer mounting tabs for the bumper first and then I'll bring the foot plate in with the hardware already in the hole and then I'll just thread the hardware through both of the holes on the cart and then it'll be good to go. And now with our vertical supports and our foot plate installed we can go ahead and attach our flip frame. So now that our flip frame is installed, we can go ahead and install our handrails and footplate brackets.
Now that our handrails are installed, we can go ahead and begin the process of installing our top struts. Now, with an old style DS with the two piece seat back in the old style top, we're going to need to use part number TOP 0101 on this cart. So, in order to do that, we want to make sure when we line this up that we line it up with the bottom of the handrail. And we're just going to clamp that into place and then we're going to drill these two holes and secure it in place with the supplied hardware. And if you don't have an extra set of hands, you can go ahead and use some clamps to hold that top strut in place. And now with one of your top struts in place, we can go ahead and attach it to the top. And then once that's done, we can repeat the same process on the other side of the cart. So now that our top struts are installed, our next step is to install our rear seat back cushion. Now when we do that, we're going to install the brackets on the back of the cushion first, and then we'll install those on the cart. So like I mentioned, we're going to take the new rear seat back brackets, and we're going to mount them directly to the seat back before we attach them to the seat back brackets. Now when we attach them to the seat back brackets, we're going to need to use some kind of spacer. We just chopped up a strut and use that as a spacer for here, and then we'll use the supplied hardware to mount it. Now that our rear seatback cushion is installed, we can go ahead and reinstall our two front seatback cushions, and we're going to reuse the OE hardware. Now, if you're going to be installing our 88-inch extended top, you would need to use part number TOP-0108, and those would mount in the exact same way as these top struts here. And now that our front seat back cushions are installed, we can go ahead and install our rear seat bottom cushion. Now, when I install these, I like to line up the top corners first and then install the rest of the screws. So, like I mentioned before, I like to install these two top screws first, and once these two screws are in, everything else will line up perfectly. Now that our rear seat bottom cushion is installed, we can go back through the entire kit and tighten everything down. Once everything's tightened down, that'll complete the installation for part number SEAT-721 on our old style club car DS. Thanks for watching this episode of Rock's Garage. Stay safe, and I'll see you guys next time.